So there was some New Year's woe up and you want buffed and nerfed post from Gus that I'm too lazy to find. And on that list, I said that I wanted Atria to be buffed, something I'll probably talk about later. And for the nerfs list, I said Pencil. Now, I have been a very, very avid supporter of not nerfing things as much as possible or being very minimal with the nerfs. This is an exception. This weapon needs to be toned back immediately. And, uh... I want to talk about why, because Pencil's been good for a while, but my stance on, yeah, no, this thing needs nerfs has been very recent. So, let's get the obvious reason out of the way. So, a lot of people have talked about how this meta's main strength has been weapon diversity, and if you are frontline, that is very true. And just to show this, I'm going to go through examples of, like, typically frontline weapons, like we got Splashes, we got Shots 52, um, you got 96 Deco, that's, you got squeezers, you got roller, you got carbon, you have, uh, well, these are all chargers. Um, you have bucket, you have try, like, try, well, try new bow, I guess, is more of a support, but you got bucket. You can argue for V try on some maps. You got machine, you got dread for zones cheese, arguably. Uh, and then you have Nautilus, you got dualies. CDS is still arguable, Tetra is still arguable, Gluga is arguable, but probably not. Rella's arguable tents I'm gonna put in frontline category when it's got this kit, but this one would be different. You have a ton of blasters like the regular blasters, range blaster, uh, rapid deco, S blast 91. You have the uh, the octo brush and ink brush are okay, uh, not these. Um, Reflux is like pretty solid right now. You could debate it's being played more aggressively lately, which is where I think it goes to. And you got both splatanas like. God damn, I, I don't think there's ever been a time there's been more frontline diversity. Uh, what is the main weapon picked for the support role? This one. And occasionally you see this one, this one, and this one. That's it. Like, there's some non-cooler supports, like Junior or Zimmy. But, like, outside of things like V-Tent, uh, No. What about backlines? Oh, guess what? It's also this. This is also the backline you see. And backline's much worse, you know. At least with coolers, we see a few edits. We see a few zaps. We see a few tries, you know. Like, you could argue that Pencil hasn't taken over support entirely, and maybe it never will. But what about backlines? Most of the time, we're not seeing Pencil comps. There's not a lot of other backlines we're seeing. Like, shooter-wise, uh, I don't think you want this to be a good backline. So we're going to skip past Jet Sculpture because, no, uh, you don't want it. Flings has been dead in the water for a long time. You can make ZF work. Like, you can probably do it, but it's going to be hard. Bamboo is, like, somewhat niche. Maybe. There's, like, one guy who uses it, though. So, like, take that as you will. Uh, this is in a worse spot than Firepin. We basically don't see it anymore because this one has a special and this one doesn't. Uh... Explo has never seen the light of day in this game ever. Uh, Blob, we don't want to be good in its current state. Again, I'll have to talk about it, but also has not seen the light of day. There is one guy using that weapon at top level, and, you know, they don't do many tournaments right now. Uh, Splatlings, you got Hydra, which, like, you can argue, but not really. I would not classify Edit as a backline. Ballpoint is tanked off a cliff because it has to fight Pencil. Heavy has tanked off a cliff because it has to fight Pencil. Uh, none of these are backlines. None of these are backlines. You can argue for Long Rapid if you want to call this one a backline, which is fair. But this doesn't see a lot of use. It's mainly this one. And I would not call this one a backline. It's being ran in backless comps as the longest range weapon. It is not the anchor. Uh, and then obviously none of the brushes count. When is the last time you've seen me talk about a, a tri-stringer in, like, top four of a tournament? Have I ever talked about one? I think, like, Worlds last year, when it was picked as an anti-crab weapon, is the last time I've talked about this thing. That's in 2022. We're in 2024 now. It's over. Um, and then none of these are backlines either. So, reason number one I think Pencil needs a nerf is that. I think it kind of takes over and ruins the diversity of two different roles to the point where I would really be curious to see if Pencil was banned, uh, like from a gimmick tournament, obviously not in the actual game. What backlines would people run? Like, I think of Ballpoint immediately. V-Jet could also be a thing for zones. Like, what would people start picking backline-wise 
if Pencil was not in the game. It would probably be more things than we see right now. Support-wise, obviously, is more of a problem of we need other supports to be picked. But the thing is, when you're running one of these supports, like Zap or Try, not as much edit, edit's mostly a backlist link thing, but sometimes, you're seeing a backline weapon too. When Zap is being picked, oftentimes we see an anchor, which means we're seeing more rolls. When Pencil's being picked, it takes both at once and you have three front lines, which obviously makes comp building a lot easier and it's part of the reason we see it so much. So it would open up diversity in both roles, though support mostly needs way more cooler options and these two need to not be complete shit uh, at the game. The other reason is Pencil's playstyle is not good for the game. Pencil can get the most coolers and the most long-lasting coolers because it has the most gear freedom. But on top of that, Pencil's playstyle should be something very familiar to people from Splatoon 2. Let's say the, you know, your back here is a pencil. I'm gonna paint the zone and shoot at people. Now let's switch that over to some similar weapons that I've just talked about not liking. I'm gonna paint the zone and shoot at people. Or, or if you want an example that's a bit more, hey, that's not as burst paint heavy, you know? It's not that bad. Oh, okay, okay, but it's like this. I'm gonna paint the zone and maybe hit people. I, I kind of feel bad for anchors because it seems like they always get stuck with the paint bot backline archetype. And because of that, I think playstyles become a gradually less fun weapon to play as time goes on. I think that it went from something that would be very cool with this enhanced mobility and further jump height and multiple shots to, but it's really good at painting guys. And you could argue that it's also just that, you know, this is cooler and other anchors don't, but outside of like maybe ballpoint and heavy, or I guess VJ Expo, eh, you know what, okay, a good bit of stuff that can get cooler. Would any of them, even those that do paint well, get cooler as effectively as this weapon? No, none of them. Not even Expo. Trust me, this thing paints way better than Expo could ever dream of painting. That's, that's what I'll say about it. So what I would like to see to this weapon is a few things. I want nerfs to it to increase the diversity of other options, but mainly I want it nerfed in a way that fixes those two things. I want other backlines to have better matchups into it because a splatter scope range fast moving charger is hell for backlines and not even that easy for splat charger because again, if you're playing unscope, this outranges you and moves faster than you a problem and i also wanted to be less about paint spam and cooler output so i'll do a whole video on this at some point on what exactly i would do i'm not going to talk about it here but i guess as this kind of a preview as to why i care so much about pencil being nerfed is why it hurts backline diversity it hurts supports diversity the play style is not fun it's not good for the game and i think this is the main problem right now if we could open up support and open up backline and make the playstyle of pencil more fun. You know, tone it back minimally, but also discourage the sit back paint style. Make pencil more fun at the same time. Maybe even give it some form of trade off buff. That would be good to see. That's what I want for the future of this game right now. Will pencil be addressed? Who knows? Uh, Zap's still 170p, so, you know, we're a long way away, but we'll see. Bye.